FSHDR is AJA's 1RU frame synchronizer and converter featuring real-time HDR creation and conversion driven by the Academy Award-winning Colorfront engine. In this video, we're going to look specifically at how to engage these color log, HDR, and SDR transformation tools to get the results that you desire for the project at hand. The first thing you will need to do to set up your FS HDR is to bring up its web interface. Like all AJA FS products, the FS HDR comes with a built-in web server for fast and centralized control and configuration available over the network. The web interface can be easily configured to be static or DHCP from the front panel of the device. FSHDR defaults to a static IP of 192.168.0.2. The most important controls for the FSHDR's conversions are the following. In the System Config tab, user selects either the 4K slash UHD mode or HD slash SD mode. In 4K mode, the FSHDR functions as a single channel device, allowing for up, down, cross conversion all the way from 4K to HD and back. FSHDR 4K slash UHD single channel mode. In single channel mode, the FSHDR allows up, down, and cross conversion from 4K to HD, including HDR transformations. Video slash input tab. For UHD, select the input you are using. If you are using a quadlink UHD source, select 1 through 4 quadlink. For HDSD, select SDI1. The FSHDR can also do single or dual link inputs, and those can be selected from the same menu if needed. When working with quadlink UHD slash 4K sources, the FSHDR will automatically determine if the source is either two sample interleave or quadrant based image mapping. This control is also available in this menu as needed. The first thing the FSHDR needs to know is what the dynamic range and color gamut options are for the input video. We will set these here on the Video Input tab. This setting will now convert the incoming signal and transform it correctly into the desired output format, including HDR formats, SDR Rec. 709, or even a Sony Log 3 output. Now let's talk about the FSHDR in HD slash SD multi-channel mode. To use the FSHDR, you will need to select HD slash SD under the mode in system slash config. This may require a restart of the FSHDR if you have been using it in the 4K slash UHD single channel mode. In this mode, the FSHDR will allow the input of up to four HD slash SD video sources and allow different HDR conversions to be applied to each. Much like in 4K slash UHD mode, the user selects the dynamic range and gamut for the input in the input menu and the dynamic range and gamut of the output from the format menu. For example, on input 1, the user has a 1080i 5994 signal and would like a 1080p 5994 output with an HDR conversion applied. In order to achieve this result, we move through the settings in the same order as previously discussed. Step 1. Confirm input video format and HDR settings for video 1. Step 2. Set output format in the HDR settings for video 1 in the format tab. Taking this example slightly further, I could also set my FSHDR to take the same input video and apply a different HDR output that would be easily selectable as well. In this example, you will see one input going to two outputs, both with different HDR requirements. The next step in our example would be to select the second video output and set SDI1 as the input signal, as well as the input HDR setting. The last step would be to select the output format and HDR settings on the format tab for video 2. The FSHDR can also support up to four independent HD slash SD inputs as long as they are all within the same clock family. As you have seen, applying color transformations for your HDR conversion needs is simple with the FSHDR. Be sure to visit AJA.com to learn more about all that the FSHDR has to offer for your conversion and frame sync needs.